even though I have a busy schedule um, leading up to this weekend, uh, I was able to squeeze in a little bit of reading. Um, so can do a comic book, a somewhat comic book review on. Uh, I'm gonna go with first off, uh, Action Comics Special uh, number one. You have Superman there. Now, if you remember the in the comic book picks of the week, I uh, picked it up because well, it was issue one and. I really like the cover. So, uh, it starts off with um, someone over at, um, I forget what it's called, uh, Superman's Fortress, uh, where he goes to hang out and like clears mind and whatnot. And uh, someone's um, broken in there and he's stealing the crystal. And he's able to, as you can see, he's uh, peeping on Lois and them and John there, and he's talking about oh the key to victory, blah blah blah. Um, next thing you know, oh dang, I missed this part. All right, all right, this makes sense. So obviously, I skipped this part. I, I didn't even realize that when I flipped the pages. Um, so I started after that. No, um, skipping that page. I started over here. So it was kind of weird that Superman was just already there. I was like. That makes no sense, but whatever. Uh, so Lois is going to Paris, so she's boarding a flight, and she leaves John at home. Superman is going to show up soon, so he's going to be home alone for too long. Um, then John finds out, or he gets a text message, and it says, "From unknown message, Lex Air." Oh, here I can show you guys. So as you see, there it says, "Mr. Superman." So someone knows that Lois Lane is married to Clark Kent, a.k.a. Superman. So um, Superman tells John to go to Kara's, um, his cousin Supergirl, and he goes after Lois. And uh, you see there, you see there's a missile heading towards there. Um, Superman obviously intercepts it, stops it. But there's something different about this, uh, this missile. He notices there's this Kryptonian technology involved with this missile. And uh, he goes after the, the plane, saves that. So pretty much saves the day. Now, Lois is oblivious to what's going on. Uh, Cl um, Clark kind of like, okay, look, John got this text message. Refer to you as Mrs. Superman. So someone knows uh, Clark Kent and Superman are both one and the same, and they targeted Lois. And so he's, they're thinking, oh, who could do that? Superman thinks, well, there's only one person that can do that, and someone that holds a grudge, and of course is Baldy Lex Luthor. Now, Superman comes, confronts him about it, and uh, Luthor's like, kind of insulted about it, and tells him to get the hell out of the, his building, and he's, uh, he does, he uses x-ray vision, as you can see right there, to scope out uh, Lex's uh, armor. Now, I don't, like, like I've said before in other videos, I don't really follow DC too much, especially Superman. Um, I follow Super Sons and sometimes Batman. So I'm really not sure what... It looks like their their relationship's still the same. Uh, they don't like each other. Uh, so he scopes that out, sees that uh, Lex's arm has been locked, hasn't been messing around. Um, he flies out of there. And Lex over here is like, wait, go back to that since... It was one of Lex's jets. So he gets a security camera, he zooms in, he finds out there's something there. You can see there's someone uh, over there. And then the next day, Lois is at work. I believe, yeah, Daily Planet, she's at work. She gets on the elevator. Now something happens, the phone rings, and she picks up. And someone's like, hello, Lois, or should I say Mrs. Superman? So once again, we're back at the Mrs. Superman thing. Someone's after her again. This time she's in the elevator, and it, it's starting to look like some Final Destination thing. Yeah, uh, this thing shoots out. And all of a sudden, you know, it blows up in the sky. She goes falling down, and then she's grabbed by the hand right there. And she's like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "An old friend." I can't read back. Is it? An old friend. And she's like, "Who?" And this is where you find out who it is. So it's Lex Luthor. Now here's the kicker. It's not the Lex that was talking to Superman a couple pages ago. 
Uh, this is a whole different. So this is where I'm completely lost. I don't know who this Lex Luthor is. Apparently, this is some old, 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 old Lex Luthor that time traveled back and still has a personal grudge and vendetta with, um, with Superman. So Superman shows up, saves her, and they start duking it out. And like I said, I'm not sure what's going on. They fight, fight some more. He got some Kryptonian technology now and some goodies in that armor. Smack Superman around a bit. And do more fighting and he just goes on in a rant about how, oh, I've always wanted to be the best and this and that and so on and so forth. And there's a missile flying towards uh, Lois because he shoots one. And next thing you know, someone's like, no one uses my name and gets away with it. Sounds like something Vegeta off of Dragon Ball Z would say. Uh, and we have Lex. So if you're keeping up, there's Lex Luthor from this present time and there's an old fart Lex Luthor that comes back from the future, I guess. Um, so Superman uh, beats him up, uh, starts stripping his armor, and he's all like, who are you, tell me. And you see right there, Superman's kind of surprised. He's like, how? How what? I don't know. But you got an old cancerous looking Lex Luthor just there talking about time travel. And I went back. Long story short, dude has a heart attack. Um, Robot blows up, boom, and Luther is nearby, and he's the man to know who that was. Superman's like someone that died a long time ago, blah, blah, blah. Um, and Luther's like, tell me his name, Superman. Uh, what difference does it make? The abyss consumed him long ago. And as far as I'm concerned, he's been dead for years. So Superman doesn't tell Lex that it was Lex. Yeah. So he doesn't tell young Lex that old Lex came back and is um, running amok. So it ends there and I'll show you the last page there. It says the last, the last will and testament of Lex Luthor. So I'm assuming that's what the storyline's gonna be. And then it goes on to something else. So I stopped there, um, kind of beat for the night. Um, up there because uh, Action Comics Special number one. I thought it was a brand new uh, series. Like you know, after the thousand, I thought they were gonna start over and do issue one. No, well it turns out uh, it's kind of like Marvel's annual comics. So uh, Thanos Annual One came out last week. So what it is just a bunch of stories that continue on to the other comics. So. Um, I mean, I, li I liked it. The art was cool. Um, just I'm confused. I don't know what's going on with. Uh, I thought I was gonna jump into this and be like, okay, I won't have to know too much. But apparently, there's an old Luther that had uh, something against Superman. So I read that one. And also, uh, DC Nation issue zero. So if you remember comic book picks yesterday, uh, it's three stories in one for 25 cents. You can't beat that deal. I enjoyed, uh, I always enjoy 25 cent comics, so. Uh, so the first story is the one with uh, the Joker there, and I don't know about you guys, I don't know how you guys do when you read your comics, but I find myself that when I'm reading like uh, The Avengers, for example, uh, Iron Man sounds like Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, uh, Cap, and so on and so forth. So when I was reading this, the first story is the Joker. Um, see him right there. I'm reading this whole thing, hearing Mark Hamill's voice saying all this stuff so it's cool I mean you can never go wrong with uh, reading Joker and anything and you know having Mark Hamill's voice to it um, so he's apparently at this um Martello Roger Martello Martello something like that he's over at this random dude's house waiting for something so dude's freaking out he's like what are you doing here whatever you know Joker looks creepy here I don't don't care for this incarnation of Joker, this uh, look, but whatever. Um, so they're waiting around for the mail. So he tells the ass guy, I want to know how, how, what time does the mail come by? I'm waiting for an invitation that's coming straight here. The guy's like, well, how do you know it's coming here? And what are you waiting for? It's like an invitation to, um, to Batman's wedding. So time, 
And it's, it's just as later. You know, it keeps popping up later. You see there? And I don't know how much later ahead it is. A couple minutes, an hour or so. But uh, they're talking. And he keeps on about his daughter. Oh, I have a daughter named Mary. And Joker's talking about, you know, the, the wedding. And how he's going to be part of it. And more later... Then this guy takes Joker's gun, and as you can see there, he takes from his holster, points at him, and bam. Well, it turns out it's just a gag gun, and we've, we've all seen those before. So, the guy's like, okay, I'm gonna die, obviously. I tried to kill Joker, I'm not gonna live. So, he's tripping out. Joker's like, just shut up and sit down, we're waiting for the mail. Um, more time passes. Uh, Joker tells a couple of jokes, has this creepy face for a moment there, and this whole time I'm reading it in Mark Hamill's voice, like, that's kind of all I'm hearing. Uh, more time passes, um, and dude starts tripping out, he's like, you know, just kill me now, I'm tired of waiting, just kill me, and, Roger, and he's like, what are you talking about? Joker's just like waiting. He's like Batman, and uh, this Roger guy goes, Batman is not getting married, and if he was, he's sure as hell ain't inviting you. And, if he was, he's not sending an invitation to uh, this random house on this random day. So, I guess the point, I mean, I don't even know who this Roger guy is. He's, uh, I don't know if there's something I had to know before this, but it um, just seems like Joker showed up at some random guy's house waiting for an invitation to uh, Batman's wedding. So, Mel finally comes in. You can see there are jokers all like, alright, finally. So, he goes through it, he goes through it. Oh, it came in. And, jo oh, I forgot to mention that Joker was told the guy, he's like, don't worry, I only kill people when I'm upset. So, invitations then, right? And the guy's like, you know, he's all excited. Now that I'm officially invited. Wait, so that's it? You came here? You were right? You're not upset? So the guy's like, oh wow, you know, how did you even know this was gonna come to my house, of all houses? And Joker's like upset. I'm going to the wedding of the year. I'll, it'll be me, the bride, the groom. All of us so happy. And he's like, I'm so happy. Then of course he blows the guy's head right off. And then you see right here, focus. I'm gonna just read it. Um, He's like, I'm so happy, and when I'm happy, I kill people. So when he's upset, he kills people. When he's happy, he kills people. So, and it turned out it wasn't even the dream. It was, this letter was, uh, it was no invitation. It's City of Gotham, Department of Education. Dear Bennett Elementary, Parent and Guardian, uh, and their kids skip school. So, uh, and to be continued in Batman 48 on sale in June. So we're already officially in May. The following, the continuation of this comes out in uh, June. So, and then it, the next story is one of Superman. So, be continued in Man of Steel number one on sale May 30th. So, this is Man of Steel. I didn't really bother with that one because I was going to read uh, Action Comics special. So, I was like, ah, I'll get my fill of Superman in that one. So, I skipped that story. And I went up to the Justice League one. So, it starts off with Batman is captured by these... And this is another thing. I'm lost to the Justice League. I don't know what's going on. Um, the Avengers, even right now, they got the the original Trinity, the Thor, Iron Man, Cap. But then they also got I got a picture right here. These are gonna be like you got Chief Hulk, Ghost Rider, Black Panther, uh, Carol, Doctor Strange. So as far as I know, Justice League is just says like the Avengers. They're always switching off teams or members. Uh, with the few main ones. Uh, so he's captured. They're asking him where's the rest of the Justice League. And this is where it gets confusing to me. So the rest of the Justice League. Uh, close. Sorry, computer just running low on battery here. The rest of the Justice League shows up. So you got Lobo, Deathstroke, Lex Luthor, and Beast Boy working with Batman there. And it says Justice League Team. Entropy? I think I'm pronouncing that right. So, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, Batman talks to um, Superman. So, what's the status of Team Mystery? Team 
mystery. That's a mystery to me. So it goes on to, uh, you got Superman, Martian Hunter, um, Centro, Starfire, and uh, this starfish looking thing called Stario. Never heard of them. Um, so their team, Justice League Team Mystery. So now I'm like, okay, there's probably a bunch I should have known before jumping into this bit, even though it's only a couple pages. Um, so my understanding is they're all in the same area. Batman and one team is over here. Superman and his team are over there. Uh, they're, you know, communicating with each other. Um, Superman asked uh, Wonder Woman, hey, you know, you guys are almost near the Mystic Tree. Uh, which Wonder Woman says, almost. So, flip the page. And you got Justice League Team Wonder. So you got Wonder Woman, Santana, Dr. Fate, Raven, and can't read backwards. Rhyming Demon Warrior. I don't know how to say his name. His name up there. Um, yeah, I know he has his own comic too. I've seen it on the shelves. So, okay, they're doing their thing. They're fighting here. And uh, Wonder Woman communicates with Cyborg. Cyborg, we're nearly at the Mystic Tree progress report. And Cyborg apparently is running another team. Justice League Team Wisdom. So, you got on this one, you got Robin, you got Adam. Yeah, Adam. The Flash. And apparently Harley Quinn, too. And some weird get up. Armor looking thing. So, I don't know exactly what is going on. An invasion of some type. I don't know. They're in space. Um, yeah, Superman with some glowing purple action there. Uh, I remember it was Jello for a moment there. And then, well, Earth will be saved. Okay. Uh, back on Earth, you got Arrow hanging out, and then um, Supergirl shows up. Or Supergirl is flying up, and there's these uh, things heading towards Earth. You see Supergirl right there. And you got these giant looking fools. Now, this automatically reminded me of. Heavy around here. I think. Uh, well, it reminded me of this because uh, if you already read this, um, then you know what what I'm talking about. Uh, if you haven't read it, you know, just go ahead and click off if you don't want to know what's going on with uh, Avengers number one. Uh, but the Celestials are pretty much beat up, and a group of big dudes like this that beat up the Celestials or killed the Celestials show up. So that reminded me of that. And you like. Look at that size difference. Crazy. So, out of this, the two stories that I did read off of this one, I enjoyed the Joker one because Mark Hamill's voice was uh, going on in my head. Um, completely lost with the Just League one. I mean, there's like four different teams now. That's crazy. I mean, that's kind of cool. But, you know, if you're not... If you're not following it and you're jumping into it like I am, you're completely lost. Lobo, Deathstroke, and Lex Luthor working with Batman and Beast Boy. Um, you got Superman Centro, the starfish looking dude. Um, yeah, that's no, just a little, a little weird. But, I mean, it's a cool concept, so who knows? Maybe I do check out. Let me see. It says, to be continued in Justice League, no justice number one out next week so today is May 2nd no May 3rd today's May 3rd Thursday May 3rd so next uh, Wednesday it comes out so but yeah I mean not bad for 25 cents you get three stories I read two um, get a tight schedule here for uh, preparation for free comic book day um, try to crank out some artwork um, did this one last night so I was squeezing in, you know, some comic book reading there. But yeah, those are uh, it's comic book review uh, for this one. Um, DC Nation number zero and Action Comics special number one. Um, if you read these, you want to give your thoughts on them, your your take, go ahead and do so in the comment section. You want to 
maybe explain to me why there's four different Justice League teams, uh, please do so in the comments section. Um, the Joker thing, I kind of already... I mean, that's self-explanatory. Uh, everyone's talking about that wedding. And Joker, obviously, is probably a, like a jealous ex-girlfriend. Hey, dude's getting married? What? Uh, I need to be a part of that somehow. Uh, but yeah, and uh, the Superman one was, uh, like I said, this one was confusing too because uh, Lex Luthor from the future, I don't know what's going on there. But I mean, it, it, it was cool it, for not knowing what's going on. It was still enjoyable. I liked it okay. Um, I might check it out because I think it said, um, well, I think I'll just continue on in action comics. Uh, thou to ten thousand? No, one thousand and one, maybe. I think that's the issue. If they're going that route, yeah, it's gonna be one thousand one. So yeah. Um, uh, last thing before I end this video. Uh, free comic book day. I already mentioned that. Uh, if you're in the Glendale, Arizona area, and you happen to be by um, Old Town Glendale, go ahead and make sure you swing on by um, for the free comic book day event at Draw the Comics. That's the comic shop I go to. Um, great comic shop, great staff, voted number five, uh, best, let me phrase that, how do I phrase that better, uh, it is the fifth best comic book shop in the country, there, um, the first three were in California, and then like one in New York, I think, but yeah, I will be hanging out, uh, free, uh, prints, I got the Spider-Man, Iron Spider one, and I got one of the Incredibles, you know, Infinity War, and this comes out next month, so I decided to go that route. So yeah, if you're in that area, go ahead and swing on by, say hi, say what's up, um, get yourself a free print, um, and yeah, just have fun. So that's it for the comic book review, until next time, you guys have a good day.